Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, where His Majesty was reassured on the health of the Saudi King. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the Saudi King with lasting good health and happiness to continue leading his country toward further progress and development. The Saudi monarch expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments, which reflect the deep-rooted ties between the two countries. He wished His Majesty the King lasting good health and happiness, and for Bahrain and its people, further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today chaired the Civil Service Council meeting, held remotely. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasised the importance of further enhancing the operational efficiency and performance in the government in order to meet the forward-looking goals of the Kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty the King. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to further develop the quality of services provided by the government to citizens and residents. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the Civil Service Bureau's the CSB's efforts in successfully restructuring the organisational structures of various government entities, efforts which will support the Kingdom's further growth and development. The Crown Prince highlighted that 51 out of 57 government entities have successfully completed organisational restructuring processes, which will pave the way to facilitate the implementation of strategies and plans during the next phase of development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince further highlighted the important role played by Team Bahrain during this next phase as the Kingdom further strengthens its key sectors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underscored that cooperation between members of Team Bahrain is vital to overcome the challenges presented by the global spread of the coronavirus COVID-19, adding that joint efforts between all entities is imperative to ensure the Kingdom continues on its path towards further development. His Royal Highness noted that current challenges and opportunities call for the further strengthening of government operational efficiency to ensure flexibility when dealing with challenges, as well as to ensure quality services benefiting citizens and residents can continue to be provided. He expressed his gratitude to various government entities that have successfully completed restructuring processes and for the continued cooperation with the CSB on this matter. The restructuring processes have reduced the number of assistant undersecretaries within different governmental entities from 80 to 63, and the number of directors from 261 to 228, therefore enhancing the efficiency of the government performance and productivity. National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the French Ambassador to Bahrain, Jerome Couchard. His Highness stressed the importance of the great development in relations between Bahrain and France that have contributed to opening more areas of cooperation between the two friendly countries. His Highness also praised the levels of cooperation and coordination achieved by the two countries at various levels. He lauded the good efforts exerted by Ambassador Couchard and his keenness on strengthening ties between Bahrain and France. The French diplomat expressed his appreciation of Bahrain's keen interest in consolidating ties and boosting cooperation across all areas. The meeting also covered issues of shared interest. The Speaker of the Representatives Council of Asiya Al Zanal delivered a speech at the 13th periodic meeting of the heads of the Shura Councils, Representatives, National and the National in the Arab Gulf Cooperation Council states, which was held remotely organised by the Federal National Council of the United Arab Emirates and the General Secretariat of the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf. Al Zanal affirmed that the consolidation between leaders and people has enabled the GCC to combat the coronavirus pandemic. She conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his pleasure with hosting the following periodic meeting in the Kingdom. Al Zanal noted the importance of consolidating cooperation between GCC countries to maintain the national gains. She stated that COVID-19 has necessitated the adoption of new measures by governments and parliaments to overcome this pandemic. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh participated in the symposium, the centenary of elections in Bahrain organised by the Historical Documentation Centre at the Isa Cultural Centre held remotely. 
In his opening speech, Al Sali said that on the occasion of the centenary of the issuance of the first electoral system in the history of Bahrain and the region, which comes within the framework of the centre celebration of the centenary of the foundations of the modern Bahraini state institutions, he noted that the developments in the election achieved a wide success for Bahrain in democratic work, which culminated in the comprehensive development march of His Majesty the King. Al-Saleh also affirmed that the support of His Majesty the King to the Democratic March has contributed to the continuity of the development of the state institutions to serve the aspirations of the people, with the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Four speakers participated in the symposium who discussed the election centenary from a historical and analytical perspective. The Arabian Gulf University made a new achievement in the field of academic accreditation from prestigious global bodies. Where the PhD programme in Innovation and Technology Management obtained the accreditation of the International Institute of Innovation in the US. The Clinical Master's programme in Family Medicine won the accreditation of the International Organisation of Family Physicians and the University's Medical Simulation Centre obtained the accreditation of the Healthcare Simulation Association in the US. On the occasion, the Minister of Education, Dr. Maji Ben Ali Al Nuemi, received the Arabian Gulf University President, Dr. Kalabil Abdurrahman Ohili, and a number of university officials, where he praised this honourable achievement, which reflects positively on the university's scientific reputation among distinguished institutions of higher education. He affirmed Bahrain's support to the university, which represents an honourable academic model that reflects the depth of brotherly relations between the GCC. The Minister commended the efforts of the University in launching the Clinical Master's Programme in Family Medicine in implementation of the Cabinet's decision in this regard within a national programme to train newly graduated Bahraini doctors in partnership with the Supreme Council for Health and with the support of Tam Keen to develop the abilities of young national cadres in line with the directives of the leadership. They also discussed the work progress of the King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Medical City Project when the Minister affirmed that this city is a qualitative addition to educational and medical services in the Kingdom and neighbouring countries, including an integrated educational hospital and specialised research centres, noting that this project reflects the strength of historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,843 with 593 recoveries. 514 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions, such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible. <laughs> 